um, but they're glad to see this come to an end. So um, it's a big relief, and I think that uh, they'll have a few things to say to y'all this uh, afternoon. Obviously, you know, it's one thing to get a, a guilty plea from him, but I mean, for several years it suffered damages. There is, I guess, still a pending lawsuit. Where do we stand with that? Or well, it's not pending? That's been resolved. Yeah, that's okay. been resolved about a year and a half ago. Okay. So uh, the whole matter is now complete. And, uh, you know, when the, I met with them originally, part of our goal was to see Sheriff Dietrich, or former Sheriff Dietrich, prosecuted and either uh, indicted or plead guilty and that's what happened today so it does bring a happy conclusion to a, a sad story. So we're happy He's to not going to be listed as a sex offender. Is that a problem for you all? Well, they were agreeable to that so um, <laughs> apparently it's not a problem to Ms. Decker or Ms. Green. He avoids jail time. Right, no jail. I mean, what, what's that about it on two felonies? Well, I, I think that was weighing the risk of trial, weighing the possibility that he might uh, somehow uh, not be convicted on the charges, and you've got to weigh the risk associated with uh, taking a case to trial and possibly not obtaining a conviction. He is a convicted felon now and will be the rest of his life. And uh, as they both said uh, to the judge, the most important thing was to hear him admit to these acts coming out of his mouth. That was the most important thing because their integrity was in question, was in question throughout this. Uh, Mr. Dietrich, uh, his attorney, their family, and I think that lays to rest any question about uh, their allegations against Mike Dietrich. So that, that was really important to him.